All right, my friends, let's see how it went here. Um, so basically what we're going to do is look at the sum itself, make sure that it converges. If it doesn't, then we're not going to be able to say it converges absolutely, no will we? Um, anyway, so uh, first let's point out the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of negative 2 thirds to the n. Like, what do we know about this? Um, I would say the simplest way to say that it converges is because it's geometric with a common ratio of negative 2 thirds. So um, I would say is a convergent geometric series. And then I'll just point out why I'm saying that it's convergent. So it's it's convergent. Um, it doesn't mean that it converges absolutely yet. Um, so to figure out whether it converges absolutely, um, we could uh, take a look at, so also, sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. Now let's take the absolute value of the terms. OK, there are two ways to go about this. There's show lots of steps, and there's don't show lots of steps. And nobody cares um, <laughs> how many steps you show. But just in case, uh, so the showing steps approach is more for you. I'll demonstrate that. So you could use properties of exponents inside here um, and break this up as negative 1 to the n times 2 thirds to the n. Um, and then from there, um, absolute value marks distribute over multiplication. And so you could rewrite that as the absolute value of negative 1 to the n multiplied by the absolute value of the quantity 2 thirds to the n. Like that. <laughs> um, and then what's the absolute value of negative 1 to the n? Well, negative 1 to the n is just negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1. Um, and so I hope it makes sense like this is equal to 1. So. If you showed no steps at all, um, then you would get what I'm about to write, which would just be 2 thirds to the n, since the absolute value marks there are redundant. So again, nobody cares if you show these two steps, as long as you actually can understand what I'm saying when I show them. Um, but if you just jumped to saying um, that this sum is equal to this, that works too. Now, the point is, is after we've simplified uh, what the sum is, when you take the absolute value of the terms, um, what do we know about that? Well, um, which is a, it's also a convergent geometric. Series. And we are saying that because your common ratio is two thirds. Okay, so what have we shown? We've shown that the sum itself converges and that if you take the absolute value of all the terms, it still converges. So our conclusion would be that the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of negative 2 thirds to the n is absolutely convergent. Or you could say converges absolutely, either way. There we go. Finished. <laughs> All right, my friends, um, just really quick, not something you especially have to write down in your notes unless you feel like you really should. Um, a series converges um, conditionally if it converges, um, but um, when you take the absolute value of the terms, it diverges. So that's conditional um, convergence. So again, go ahead and write that down if you need to, but if you from here on out will know that definition without writing it, that's okay too. All right, so let's take a look at example three. Let's show that the sum as n goes from one to infinity of negative one to the n minus one times one over n. Let's show that that one converges conditionally. All right, see how it goes. Check in with me in the next video.